Welcome to a new meditation. The one for today is uh, one you can do everywhere and take anywhere with you. It's meditating on scripture. Most of us have this very American capitalist idea that scripture should be like a recipe where you quickly read through the ingredients and see what's supposed to come of it. And then you bake the cake and it happens. But this is a meditative scripture reading where you just read to see what happens, not to see what it means, what it might mean or what you ought to do, but just to spend some time with God. So this morning, I'm gonna read uh, Psalm 147. And there's no rush to read through this. You just spend time gradually. And when you get to a place that makes your mind skip or your eyes stop or your heart, I don't know, tingle, just stay right there. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. For he is gracious, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is the Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the downtrodden. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make melody to our God on the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the animals their food and to the young ravens when they cry. The Lord's delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor is pleasure in the speed of a runner. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him and those who hope in his steadfast love. Now for me, that last phrase, verse 11, the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, those who hope in his steadfast love. Fear, hope, steadfast love. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. And you send some time allowing those words to work on you. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him and hope in his steadfast love. Gradually a prayer might come together in your mind. Oh Lord, in this time of great fear, may I fear nothing because I fear you. And may I hope not just for an open economy, a return to normalcy, but in your steadfast love for all your people, for the ravens and the elderly and the downtrodden. Amen. 
I've gone very quickly through this this morning. Normally I would spend 20 minutes at home. And if you're wondering what to read, there are these things called the Revised Common Lectionary, the Daily Lectionary, where they lay out the scripture on a daily basis, morning and evening, all year long. And as you read, you don't have to read all of it. Just read what catches your heart and know that you are with millions of people all around the world. God bless you.